For this example, we're going to do a word problem involving quadratic functions. The problem says Michaela wants to sell calculators. The revenue function is given by r of p equals negative 20p squared plus 6040p. What is the maximum amount of revenue? So they want the max revenue Michaela can make. And they want to know what will she have to price the calculators to make the maximum revenue. So they also want the price at the max revenue. OK, so we have to think about this logically. When we're talking about parabolas, the maximum, anytime you have a maximum, it's always right there, right? And what else is this point called? It's also called the vertex. And if we know that, we can use our vertex formula to find our maximum. But you have to remember that the vertex is the same thing as the max or min. So we can find the maximum by using our vertex formula, which is x equals negative b over 2a. In this case, it's not x, it's actually p, because our variables are not x and y, our variables are p and r. Now we have to figure out what a and b are. a is the coefficient in front of p squared, so a should be negative 20, and b is the coefficient in front of p, so that should be 6040. And now we can plug them into our formula. So negative b is negative 6040, over 2 times a is negative 20. And now if we simplify this, negative 6040 over negative 40 simplifies to 151. Now we have to interpret this. Is this the maximum revenue or is this the price? It says p here, so this is actually the price for our maximum revenue. It's not the maximum price, but it's the price that you want to charge people in order to get the maximum revenue. And also this is in dollars, that should be dollars. Because price is in dollars. Okay, now how do we find the maximum revenue? We know the price, but how do we get the revenue? Well, we have a revenue equation right here and if we know our price is 151, we can just substitute P for 151. So revenue at 151 is going to be equal to negative 20 times 151 squared plus 6,040 times 151. Okay, now we're going to simplify everything and just combine like terms. So when I multiply, when I simplify this entire term, 151 squared times negative 20, I get negative 4, 5, 6, 0, 2, 0. So that's 456 million, negative 456 million. Plus, when I multiply these two, I get 9, 1, 2, 0, 4, 0. So that is 912 million. And now you just have to add these two together. And you should get 456 million 20. And again, this is revenue, so it's dollars. So this is the maximum amount of revenue and this is the price in order to get the maximum revenue. And that's our final answer.